All right guys, so you've discovered your engine has a head gasket leak. Now, I know that sounds really intimidating. There is hope. I highly encourage you to watch this video right until the end because you'll see that it's really not that hard to do a head gasket change and there are a ton of benefits. Before you go off and buy a new engine, be calm and stay calm because I'll tell you, this has been a tough ride so far for me. We're gonna go through exactly how uh, I diagnosed the problem, how I realized the head gasket. I'm actually gonna show you the damaged head gasket and we're gonna put a new one on this and get this engine running and back to spec. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so this is a Yanmar 2QM20 marine diesel engine. All right, it's uh, from 1995 and it has about 1500 hours on it. Last year, I replaced the starter and the injectors on it and it never really ran that great after that. I mean when I first got the boat it was really good and it started right up and over time it seemed to lose power. Now this is uh, my second year with this boat and what happened was, is I went to, in around New Year's Eve actually, I went to do an oil change on the engine, just to winterize it and, and get all the water out of the engine, so it didn't freeze up and damage something. So I turned the, there's a manual crank that goes right here, it's, it's currently off, and you use this crank right here to turn over the engine if you don't have any battery power. You can start it by hand. And I started noticing a little noise it was almost like the the pistons the cylinders were, were losing compression so that was scary and uh, so I went to do the oil change and lo and behold the oil was very milky it was almost like sludge gray sludge so basically what has happened is there's water in the oil the oils emulsified so somewhere on the engine water was getting into the oil now now that took the wind right out of my sails. Uh, right then and there I knew I had a big problem with the engine and couldn't run it until I solved this problem. So what I've done is I've drained out the, all the fluids from the engine, all the water, all the diesel, all of the um, uh, engine oil, and I've gone ahead and taken off the cylinder head. Now let's go over to the cylinder head and I'll show you what I've done so far. Okay, so this is the cylinder head. And really, it wasn't that hard to take off. It was only, I think it was six bolts. I took them off. Now what I've done is I've, I've taken all of the parts off and I've put them in bags and I've labeled them so that I know exactly where to put them back on and how to put them back on. So let's take a look at the actual head gasket. All right, so I'm gonna put a paper towel down here just so we have contrast in the background. Now this is the head gasket, okay? Now this thing sits between the cylinder head and the engine block and it's kind of like a seal. All right, so right away you can see the problem with it. So let's just zoom in on that a little bit here. As you, you see what's going on? This head gasket is bad. It's got a leak and uh, it's just rusted and you can see where the compression has been leaking out. So this unit is bad. So let's go back to the engine and I'll show you uh, you can actually see where the compression has been leaking. All right, so this is the area where the, the head gasket was blown. And you can see all the, the burn marks here. That's where compression and fumes were escaping. And uh, so that's a good thing. We know that the head gasket's blown. And there's one other major thing we need to do in order to see if this engine's worth putting a new head gasket on it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take a straight edge and see if the actual head's warped. So in this case, it's fine. You want to do that with your cylinder head too. If you continue to run your engine with bad oil and uh, a broken head gasket, what's going to happen is, is the engine block will warp. If it's warped, it's not worth doing the head gasket change because you're just going to have more problems in the future. This engine is fine. It's not warped. And then let's take the straight edge and put it over to the cylinder head and see if it's warped. All right, so this is the cylinder head flipped over. Basically, these valves let in fuel and air, and then they close, and the, 
the explosion happens and force the piston up and down. So what you want to do is take a straight edge and put it on your cylinder block and make sure, put it in the next pattern if you have to, make sure it's not warped. It's very important to do this, guys. Because if these, these surfaces don't mesh uh, on top of the cylinder head, then you're going to have big problems in the future. This cylinder head is fine. What I've done is I've completely, uh, I took some brake cleaner, I sprayed the whole engine down, engine degreaser, and I've gone through it with a fine tooth uh, brushes, like a toothbrush, this sort of thing, and cleaned it all up. And I've got it as, as, as cleaned up as best as I can. Now, what's very important about this is that you don't scratch this surface. Okay, this is a machine surface here. And you don't want to use any metal brushes or sandpaper or anything to get the gunk off there. You just got to keep using brake cleaner and get it uh, taken off. Now, the valves, while well, you got the cylinder head off, it's good to do, give it some maintenance. What I've done is I've taken the injectors out and uh, I've, cleaned the, I've cleaned them all up. All right, so I've taken the injectors out, I've cleaned them all up, and I took these uh, valves off. Now, you need a special tool for that and I had to order that on Amazon and it took me a while to get these off. What I did is I, I did a lapping and, and you lap the valves, what you do is you get this grease uh, that's got uh, grit in it and you can uh, actually, you know, you, come, you, get, you get a suction cup thing and it spins these and grinds down so that the surface mate really well. So I've got that done and she's looking pretty good. So I have ordered the parts for this, and uh, what I'm gonna do is when they arrive here, we're gonna put this engine back together. And I think it's gonna make a really cool video. Uh, what I love about this is, you know, I, I, I phone Beta Marine, and I, I, they emailed me back and wanted roughly $12,000 for a new uh, 30 horsepower diesel engine. This one's a 20, and I, you know, I could use the extra power, but I just don't have the 15 grand right now. It's going that's going towards cruising, not new engine stuff. So I got to tell you, I was really upset. It was around New Year's Eve when I discovered the head gasket problem, and there's a there's a psychological stigma that, that with the words head gasket leak. I mean, don't get caught up in that. If, if you have a head gasket leak on a on your car or something, it's going to be expensive to fix, and it's going to be quite a bit of of effort to get it done yourself. But these engines are very simple. They're designed to run forever. And like I said, it was only six bolts that I took off to get this thing off. And it's good because now I have the manuals, I have the tools and the know-how uh, to work on this engine. So in many ways, it's better than having a new engine because if I'm way off uh, somewhere far away cruising and I have engine problems, I know I have the tools, I know I have the manuals, and I have a rough idea of how the engine goes together. That's very important. So next thing we're gonna do is, uh, as soon as these head gasket uh, parts get here, we're going to put this thing back together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a pretty detailed uh, rebuild of this engine. We're gonna prime the fuel system. And uh, speaking of the fuel system, uh, let's, let's, let's show you, I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on here. So way back in there is the fuel tank. And that tank's been sitting there for as long as this boat's been here. I'm sure no one's clean. Well, I, I don't know, but I'm assuming no one's cleaned the, the thing out. So I think part of the problem with the engine, why it wasn't running so well, was because there's all sorts of, you know, gunk and water in that tank right there. So what I did is I uh, took some samples out, and lo and behold, the diesel is literally, it's chocked full of uh, particles and it's milky and it's got lots of water in it. So I need to empty out that tank. I had a look at it last night and I, I realized you can actually pull that tank right out. And I think we're gonna do that. That's gonna be in this video as well. And let's take a look at, I'll put a, a 12 volt block here. And this 12 volt block uh, just, just powers uh, some accessories. I noticed that the bilge pump wasn't working in the engine pan down there. So uh, I've got this thing powered up. All I got to do is run uh, a wire to the bilge pump and get that secured to the to the floor there. And that's going to be in this video as well. So let's get into it. Let's get this engine running. I think it's going to make a cool video. And uh, 
we can learn exactly uh, how to do this and let's get into it all right guys just a quick side note here man I uh, I woke up this morning and was trying to edit this video for you guys and I, I I've, one of the boxes broke down and uh, I just went through like an hour of two feet of snow there's a huge snowstorm out there to get another one of these and it seemed to solve the problem do me a favor hit the hit the like button hit the subscribe button make a comment I really appreciate it I got I got tens of thousands of dollars to make these videos for you guys and uh, two years 30 videos in I'd appreciate it. Give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks guys, back to the video. All right, so the next job I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the diesel tank. What happened was is I was uh, testing out the, the fuel. I took a sample of fuel coming right from the, the engine side before it went into the, uh, the fuel system, like past the filter, and took a sample out and it was full of just water or it was milky, something wrong going on there. So I think the diesel tank's contaminated. What I think the best thing to do here is to, uh, the tank is way back in there. What I'm gonna try and do is, uh, I've used the fuel lines to drain it out, but it just, it's it doesn't uh, siphon. So I'm gonna take uh, the fittings off the top of the tank and unscrew those and put a big long hose in there and see if I can get it properly siphoned out into buckets. And then I'm gonna carry the buckets over to the oil dump at the marina there. We're gonna get this tank empty. I think I can actually get it out of here. So uh, it might take a bit of effort here, but I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna uh, service everything and and inspect it. Look inside the tank and see what's in there. All right, let's get let's get to work. Okay, so this is the fuel tank, and the idea is to get these these fittings off right here. Remove those and empty the siphon the tank out with a hose into, into a bucket down here or out there and uh, the problem is is these clamps are facing that way it would be easier to hop in there and do that so i think i'm going to re-hop in there and undo the, the these hoses and see if i can get them off all right All right, so I managed to get the hoses disconnected and the wiring disconnected. So this tank is free. Uh, all I gotta do now is drain it somehow. What I'm gonna do is stick a tube down that hole, the main gas hole there, and try and drain it into a bucket here. And just do it bucket by bucket. It's probably gonna take 10 buckets. And it's like uh, a good 10 minute walk to the oil machine. So this is gonna take some time, all right. I'm just going to suck it out. <laughs> See what happens here. There we go. Okay, so I was draining for a second there. This isn't easy. Oh, man. Come on. 
Wow, so that was a ton of work. I probably walked a few kilometers with buckets of diesel. Pretty, pretty sure the tank's as empty as I'm gonna get it in this position. And it's been a long day. We've got a lot of work done today. Uh, I think I'm gonna let everything fume out and I'm gonna call it a day and we'll get back at it in the morning. All right. All right, so I'm gonna keep these videos to under uh, in around 15 minutes. So uh, this is gonna turn into a series. All I'm waiting on now is the head gasket. Now it's gonna be here in three days and uh, I'm gonna split this video up. I'm gonna end this video right now. Appreciate you guys watching this, this long and interesting video. I hope you found it interesting. And uh, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe, uh, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. We're gonna take this boat down to the Caribbean once we're sorted and ready. Uh, and hopefully this time next year we'll be in warm water. All right, stay tuned for episode two of this engine debacle head gasket situation. All right, guys, thanks. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.